everybody. Thanks for uh, joining for another episode, a uh, special series with Rethinking with Alex Torpy. Um, who you're going to hear from in a moment is uh, Kylie Overson, who uh, she and I met years ago when she first ran for the legislature in North Dakota. Um, she was in her early 20s at the time and not only has been able to do an incredible job as a legislator um, in North Dakota, but also managed to go to law school and finish that and become uh, a lawyer uh, and is also uh, uh, was, and I believe still may be, the chair of the state party. Um, and so she's really a dynamic person who's done a lot and put in a lot of hard work to get to where she is. So she's going to share with us just a couple different um, kind of lessons and reflections um, on running for office for those of you who might be thinking about that. So I hope you enjoy um, the quick uh, uh, conversation with Kylie um, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks, everybody. Hello, my name is Kylie Overson. I live in North Dakota. I am a former state representative and a former candidate for statewide office. I currently serve as the chair of our state's Democratic Party and am involved in a number of community organizations alongside my work as an attorney in private practice. I first ran for office at the age of 23. At that time, I had to really consider how running for office and potentially serving in office would impact my academic, career, and family goals. Running for office really was never a part of my plan. I wanted to know that I could still attend law school and eventually work as a lawyer. I was worried that I wouldn't know enough or have the right knowledge or skills to be a good candidate, let alone an effective legislator. But I surrounded myself with really supportive people. I took time to learn the issues and more importantly, I realized that no one really knows everything when they run. It's an unfair barrier that new candidates, especially women, place in front of themselves. What I found throughout that first campaign and in the two campaigns that I've run since then is that people are really looking for candidates and elected officials who will listen to them. Too often candidates come into a race with a set agenda and a set approach to problems facing their constituency. But in order to really be effective, you have to first listen to the community that is most impacted to better understand the problems and the challenges and to craft good solutions. I found that running, even if you lose the election, can make a major positive difference for your community and your state and for your neighbors. Running for office isn't and can't always be about winning. Sometimes it's about holding accountable those who are in power. It's about bringing new ideas and new voices to the table. And it's about changing the conversation. This sounds a little bit overblown, but I mean it sincerely. Running for office changed my life. As I said earlier, running was never a part of my plan. I never would have considered it if it wasn't for someone approaching me and saying, you'd be really good at this, you should think about it. Making that leap, saying yes to running was the single best decision I've ever made. And it changed my tra trajectory in ways that I still haven't fully realized. While I had always been an involved person, um, you know, in my campus, in my community, in my hometown. I didn't really understand the importance of community service in the vein of elected office. I didn't fully understand the impact that elected officials really have on our daily lives. Serving in the state legislature was the best job I ever had. I loved it. It was challenging and frustrating, but it was also immensely rewarding. I learned so much and met the most incredible people. For those of you who are considering running for office, I encourage you to say yes, take the risk. Put aside whatever self-doubt or fear that you're feeling and take the leap. It'll be one of the best adventures that you'll ever undertake and I promise you won't regret it.